Okay, so today we need to talk about game sharing on the Nintendo Switch. This is something that for some reason is very hard to find a lot of good information about on the internet. This is something that Nintendo has made very, very difficult for us to do. They clearly don't want us to do it. Xbox and PlayStation both make this very, very simple to do. It's a few clicks of a button and you can, you can share games. It's not that way with the Nintendo Switch. Obviously, if you have cartridges, you can just take the cartridge out, put it in another Switch. That's gonna be, you know, pretty self-explanatory. But when you're talking about digital games and game sharing, they do make this, they make this quite difficult. But I think I've found three different ways here that you can go about doing it, depending on your situation. I'm guessing one of these three ways is, is gonna help you out, but I have to warn you right now, none of them are perfect. Very quickly, before we jump into this, down in the description, guys, if you would, click the link over to my Twitch. I stream over there at least twice a week and we give away a free switch game every single month if you want to be entered to win the free switch game make sure you follow that link down below follow me there catch me on a live stream and i will tell you exactly how to do that okay we're gonna go with like i said three different ways here this first one i don't think this is the best one i'm gonna try to explain things along the way as we go this stuff is very confusing nintendo does not make this easy clearly they don't want us doing this but it is possible so way one and i think this is probably the worst way to do it but in some people's situations it may be the best let's say you have two people who have you know two different sets of games that they've bought digitally they have two nintendo switches each one of them is signed into each other's nintendo switch right right okay so person a has their nintendo switch here and they would be considered the primary account on that switch person b has their switch over here they are the primary on their switch now if person a has their profile on person b's nintendo switch they can go to the eShop under their name and they can download their games so at that point they're going to be able to play their games on not only their switch but the other person's switch as well so the problem is now that person a has their account on person b's switch they are going to be able to play all the games person a will be able to play all the games on person b's switch because person b is the primary account holder now the problem is on this switch person b is not going to be able to play person a's games that they download on this switch because person a is the primary account on this switch not this one so those games they will not have access to that is a problem that i've been dealing with here with my daughter's switch i couldn't figure out why that wouldn't work so the way around that is you actually have to deregister the person who is the primary on this switch and make the other person the primary if that makes any sense so i'm going to show you how to do this you're actually going to go into the eShop. you're going to go up to the very corner here to where you see your little icon you go right here over into your information here all the way down you're going to see here where it tells you to unlink as this switch is the primary switch you do that so then the next time you go to the eShop on any switch whichever switch it is that switch turns into the primary switch for your account. So you would go on person B's switch, sign in there, then everybody's gonna be able to play everybody's games on that switch. So doing it this way is if two different people have two different sets of games already, you know, if you, if you haven't kind of already thought about this beforehand, that's a way you can do it. And that's another thing, if people absolutely want to play on their own profiles, for sure, no question, and they want to, you know, have their own games, this is kind of the way you do it. Obviously, the drawback is you're going to be changing the primary switch back and forth a lot. I think this is probably the worst way to do it. That was a very confusing way to explain it, but honestly, it's the best way that I know how. This is why there's not a lot of videos on this stuff. This is really confusing. Okay, so I did talk to Jeeb about this, and uh, if you guys don't know, Jeeb and I do a podcast together. I'll also have a link to that down below, but I talked to him about this because he, uh, him and his girlfriend actually have this problem a lot. The game sharing thing. So I, I did talk to him about this a little bit and he had an idea that I thought was a good one that I wanted to include as the second one here. And it's, it's for people who are like jumping into this maybe early before they start buying digital games is buy them all on one account. That way everything is right there in one account. There's a certain way I think you have to set this up to make it work correctly, but if you do it this way, then everybody can play all the games as long as you have the primary switch on the right one. To make this work, whoever is the primary, the one who bought the games, whatever account bought the games, that needs to be on the secondary switch. You can use two separate profiles. 
but whichever profile bought the games, the other profile, that person's Switch needs to be this person's primary Switch. They will be able to play all the games at that point, and this account bought all the games, so they will also be able to play all the games. The only problem with that is this Switch at this point now, every time you go to play a game, it's gonna go to the internet and it's gonna check. It's gonna see if you actually bought the game. So if you're out and you don't have access to internet, that could be an issue. There is a workaround for that. Most phones have a hotspot. So you could turn the hotspot on your phone on and you may not be able to play Fortnite online with your hotspot. I don't know what kind of internet you're gonna be getting from that, depending on you know your service provider whatever but that is definitely enough internet for the switch to go check to make sure that you bought the game and then you can start playing so there is a workaround for that and doing it this way is going to make sure everybody has their own save data in the cloud everybody's got their own stuff you know you don't have to worry about people playing on other profiles you don't have to worry about anything like that you're getting your own cloud saves everything should work out that way and you're not going to have to change the primary switch back and forth nearly as many times maybe you can change it back if you know you're going to be going out with that switch that isn't the primary maybe you want to change it to that then you could do that but you're going to be doing it far less this way than you would be the first way okay the third way to do this and this is probably the way that i'm going to be doing this going forward because i'm game sharing with right now just my kids and they don't really play switch all that often so it's not a huge deal for, for for me to do it this way they're not really crazy about their cloud saves you know they're not really crazy about anything like that so the way that i am going to do this i am keeping my switch my primary switch their switch Lite will have my nintendo account on it so i'm going to be able to download all of my games for them anyone they want there you can you can download all the games onto it you know whatever they want to play they'll have access to it but i'm going to just let them play on my profile for a lot of people that's not going to be an ideal situation they want their own profile they want their own cloud saves which is totally understandable in my situation we're not really not really worried about that as much here so the way to make sure that you can do this correctly is you need to go into the switch light menu not yours the the other switch the one let's say in this situation the one that my kids are using you have to turn automatic cloud backup completely off and i'm going to show you how to do that right now it's very important because if you don't do this the automatic updates from the games that they play on your profile will go to the cloud and it will erase your other data let's say you're playing breath of the wild and you've beat the game and you're you know you're out and trying to collect all the korok seeds and you're so close and then one of your kids gets on your account on their switch and plays breath of the wild when that save happens it's going to go to the cloud and overwrite your entire game so you don't want that to happen you're going to go into the menu turn off cloud saves and this is how you're going to do it you're going to go over here to system settings then you're going to go all the way down here to data management you're going to go to save data cloud then you are going to pick your account on their switch remember you're doing this on their switch light not your switch then you're going to come down here to settings and you're going to turn automatic cloud data backup off you're going to turn off automatic save data download you're also going to turn that off again by doing this you are going to pretty much put that switch light on its own island the only information with the saves it's going to have is going to be on the console itself nothing's going to the cloud which can be a disadvantage if something happens to it but again we're talking about my kids who aren't super into the switch i don't think they're gonna care as much if you know if they lose their their saves in mario kart it's not gonna be a big deal so each each case for these things is completely different but i do think that one of these ways should work for just about everybody out there now the examples i've given here are pretty much with two nintendo switches you have to remember if you're talking about adding three four the third one might be the best option maybe the first one maybe the second one again depending on how much how many times you want to change the primary with the third option at least you can just put everybody's account on there play on that account you are you're sacrificing your your cloud saves at that point but you know nintendo doesn't make it easy like i said there's not a great way to do this those are are the three that I think are the best but guys I'm gonna put a video up on screen right now because if you're watching this video that probably means you're thinking about buying a lot of digital games I have went all digital I made a video about it it's right here make sure you guys watch that one right after this video but guys that is gonna do it for this one as always thank you so much for watching please leave a like make sure you are subscribed I'll see you in the next one